The Simpsons. Bart's Nightmare for the Sega Genesis. The plot to this game is that Bart is working on some homework and he falls asleep. And when he falls asleep, he goes into this dream world. And in the dream world, the pages of his homework fly out the window and he decides to go get them back. I don't know if that also happened in the real world. I guess it did, but here we are. So he falls into the dream world and lands on the longest street in Springfield where immediately everything starts trying to kill him from the mailboxes to this bus that drives constantly back and forth. The basis of the game is you want to find these sheets, pages, you jump on them and it takes you to a mini game. Now depending on which one you press left or right is which one you go in. This is the yellow door and this first one is going to be you're in the Simpsons house and it's itchy and scratchy themed where you have to defeat itchy and scratchy Eventually, once you get over here and defeat enough Itchies and Scratchies, uh, Itchy shows up with a missile launcher, and he's not screwing around anymore. Sometimes if you pick the same minigame, it will be a slightly different version. This for example, we're in the same house, but it's a different area, there's different obstacles obviously, and this illustrates one of my frustrations with this game, and that's the hit detection. I mean, if you look at this, these things are breathing fire, so they have a wide area, and I don't know if I'm standing above them, below them, but it sucks. Eventually, if you beat the level, you will get a page, and it will show you what number it is, and you'll be taken back out to a screen showing how many pages that you've collected so far. Up next we have the green door. The green door turns you into Bartzilla and you can shoot laser beams and fireballs at tanks and aircraft. Pretty fun. Basic though. Nothing special. Here we have the purple door. This one takes you into a microscopic thing where I guess you're in a bloodstream or something maybe and you have an inflating thing that you use to stick into the side of these germ guys and just keep hitting the button until they pop. Here we have the orange door which is probably the most frustrating for me. It's basically a Qbert type game where you're hopping between these pillars. Uh, there's obstacles that come up and also projectiles and stuff that you can't really see until the last minute and it's really easy to die in this one. The last one I'm going to show you here is the blue door. The blue door turns you into Bartman and this is basically a side-scrolling shooter. Again, it's very basic. It's kind of fun when you start out because I felt like I was actually able to figure out the controls for this one really easy. But I want to show you the fatal flaw in this level. You see that thundercloud right there? Alright. I'm going to let this run a little long because I want to show you that that thing never goes away if you don't defeat it. It will chase you throughout the entirety of the level. And the problem with that is that you cannot fire backwards in this game. So, anything that's behind you is a problem. Coming up here, we're going to actually get to the first stage boss, and there's that lightning cloud still, and now anything that is behind me, I have no way to shoot, so I have to just try to bait it over in front of me. Eventually, when you take enough hits, the uh, screen will turn white, and that'll let you know that you're down to your last life. And then the ending of the game, Bart wakes up and he gets a letter grade depending on how you did. 
This part I actually like because the family's facial expressions will actually change depending on what kind of grade that he gets. So that's pretty neat and a nice touch. I like that. Overall, Bart's Nightmare, this is coming from a lifelong Simpsons fan. If this wasn't a Simpsons game, there would be no reason to play it. And I'm not sure that there's even a reason to play it as a Simpsons game, to be honest with you. The graphics, sound, everything is pretty good. Uh, the controls are frustrating at times. The mini games, there's just not a lot to it. And this is kind of one of those that you pick it up and play it one time just to play it. But for me, there's not a lot of replay value. 